Psychoanalytic theory. Psychoanalytic theory, founded by Sigmund Freud, focuses on the idea that our behavior and feelings are deeply influenced by unconscious thoughts, memories, and desires, many of which stem from our childhood. Freud compared the mind to an iceberg, with the largest part hidden beneath the surface, representing the unconscious. This theory suggests that our early experiences, especially those involving parents and family, shape our later behaviors and personality traits. Behavioral Theory Behavioral theory, developed by psychologists like John B. Watson and B. F. Skinner, is centered on the idea that all behaviors are learned through interaction with the environment. According to this theory, behavior is shaped by rewards and punishments. For instance, if a behavior is followed by a positive outcome, like getting a treat, it is more likely to be repeated. Conversely, if it is followed by a negative outcome, like a scolding, it is less likely to happen again. This approach emphasizes observable behaviors rather than internal thoughts or feelings. Humanistic Theory Humanistic theory, proposed by Carl Rogers and Abraham Maslow, emphasizes personal growth and self-actualization. This theory focuses on the individual's capacity for self-improvement and self-direction. It suggests that people are inherently good and have the potential to achieve their full potential if given the right environment. Humanistic psychologists believe in the importance of self-esteem, self-concept, and the need for unconditional positive regard from others. Cognitive theory. Cognitive theory associated with psychologists like Jean Piaget and Aaron Beck examines how we think, perceive, and remember information. This theory suggests that our thoughts play a crucial role in determining our behaviors and emotions. Cognitive theorists study how we process information and how our mental processes affect our understanding of the world. For example, changing negative thought patterns can lead to changes in behavior and improved emotional well-being. Biological theory Biological theory focuses on the physical and biological basis of behavior. This includes studying brain structures, neurotransmitters, genetics, and other bodily processes that influence our actions and thoughts. This approach emphasizes that our mental processes and behaviors have a physiological basis. For instance, variations in brain chemistry can affect mood and behavior, highlighting the importance of biology in psychology. Evolutionary theory. Evolutionary theory, influenced by Charles Darwin's work, suggests that our behaviors and mental processes have developed to solve problems related to survival and reproduction. According to this perspective, behaviors that have helped our ancestors survive and reproduce are likely to be passed down through generations. This theory looks at how evolutionary principles such as natural selection shape behaviors that enhance our chances of survival and reproduction. Social Learning Theory Social Learning Theory, proposed by Albert Bandura, emphasizes the importance of observing and imitating the behaviors of others. This theory suggests that we learn new behaviors by watching others and modeling their actions. Bandura introduced the concept of self-efficacy, which refers to an individual's belief in their ability to succeed in specific situations. Social Learning Theory highlights the role of social influences and observational learning in shaping behavior. Developmental theory. Developmental theory examines how people grow and change throughout their lives. This field includes various theories, such as Jean Piaget's stages of cognitive development and Eric Erikson's psychosocial stages. These theories outline different stages of development that individuals pass through as they age, each characterized by specific cognitive and social milestones. Developmental psychologists study how and why people change over time. Sociocultural theory. Sociocultural theory, developed by Lev Vygotsky, emphasizes the impact of social interactions and cultural context on development. According to this theory, learning is a social process and cognitive development is largely influenced by the people around us and the cultural tools we have access to. Vygotsky introduced concepts like the zone of proximal development, which describes the range of tasks that a child can perform with the help 
and guidance of others.